Hey folks, last time I was with you, I said we were going to do a bug out bag video. This is it. Hang on. Orlando Prepper coming at you again. I noted in my last video when I covered the things that I keep in my vehicle that I would probably do a bug out bag video for you. Can't believe I hadn't done one, but I hadn't. Now it's time to do it. So uh, my bug out bag is different than my get home bag. Very different. Uh, your get home bag, if you remember, I told you, you don't want to look tactical. If you're out away from home, you know, shit hits the fan, you have to hike back home. You want a plain looking backpack, but with a bug out bag, you really don't have to worry about that that much. I mean, I don't because I know if I have to grab this, you know, throw it in my truck or whatever, I'm also gonna have a 45 on my hip and probably have a Mossberg slung over my shoulder. So if I have to use this, I don't care if I look tactical. Things are really bad. And hopefully, you know, that'll help me avoid trouble instead of draw trouble. But let's get on with it here. Uh, if you, if you see I have a camo colored, uh, it's a molly pack where you can hang uh, pouches on it like this if you have to. Uh, fortunately, I only keep a two day supply here because if I have to grab this and get out of here, I've also got my get home bag in my vehicle, which is a one day supply. So with this, I'll have a total of three days, actually a little more of supplies ready to go. But we're gonna go over uh, what's in each one of these and a couple of other things, and hopefully it'll help you. But when you want a pretty good size bug out bag, because like I said, the minimum you want is a three day supply of food, a way to get water, uh, you know, and a couple other things. We're going to go over that, but at least a 30 liter bag. So you'll have plenty of room to put the things you're going to need when you grab it and get the hell out of Dodge. So let's get started. Put that down there. All right, my first little molly here. I call this my fire molly. Also have uh, you know a little cordage in there, just a little extra cordage, uh, disposable blanket. Keep a couple of those thermal blanket. Got my ferro rod. Got to have a good ferro rod, guys. Don't go cheap on a rod. It's the last thing you want to do. Got a disposable poncho and. I have fire starter equipment here. That's just a little extra hand crank flashlight I stuck in there just just for extra. But keep a lot of these little fire starters in there. They light quick, uh, easy to start. Also, of course, big lighter. Gotta have a good lighter. So this is what I call my fire bag. As you can see, I have a couple of extra things there the things I explained, but let's go on to the next one. Okay, let's go on to my little med kit that I keep, more like a first aid kit, I guess. Uh, let's call it my medical molly. How's that? All right, keep wet wipes in there. You have to keep those wet wipes just to keep things clean when you can. Uh, also keep a sandwich bag full of various size bandages, uh, butterfly stitches, stuff like that. And this one I have, alcohol wipes. Gotta have those alcohol wipes. And I have individual packets in here with like uh, burn cream, antibiotic cream, anti-itch cream, stuff like that. Medical tape, don't go cheap. Get the good stuff, guys. That right there could save your life if, if it's necessary, it could do it couple of rolls of gauze. Get you a couple of rolls of gauze that you can wrap up injuries with. Also a wrap for your ankle or, or your wrist or you know just in case 
you sprain your ankle or whatever, uh, you need a good wrap and meds. I keep a five day supply of meds in my bug out bag. When you put your meds in there, make sure you put a moisture absorber in there with them because you don't want those meds getting damp, folks. That right there could be a big problem, especially down here in Florida, as humid as it is all the time. So let's move on to the next thing I like to carry in my bug out bag. All right, let's get on to the food and water. That's some vital stuff, right? But uh, like I told you, you want a minimum of three days food and water and that bug out bag. So let's, let me show you what I have here. This is in addition to what I'll have already in my vehicle and my get home bag. If you'll remember that, I'll link a video right here. You can click on that and go check that video out. But I have uh, freeze dried mountain house meals here for dinner. I have two of those in this bag. I also have lots of breakfast food here because I like breakfast food. I got scrambled eggs and uh, biscuits and gravy. I bought them in the two serving packs and then split them up into individual portions. Put them in a, uh, these little Mylar bags with a moisture absorber and I have six meals in here right here. I like my breakfast food. That's why I got so many so many of those but also got to have my coffee. This is in addition to what I had already in my vehicle but if I don't have coffee, it's going to be a terrible day, right? Get on to the water here. Uh, these I carry are four ounce individual water packets. I put six into a one quart freezer bag and I carry two of those bags. So I have 12 portions of water here just in case I can't find a water source. But here in Florida, I don't think that's going to be a problem because there's water everywhere. And I carry my Catadine water filter. Keep this in my bug out bag. That'll clean 2,000 gallons of water. So this combined with what's in my get home bag and my grab and go container. I'll link that right up here as well. Believe me, I'm going to have a lot of food and water. This old boy ain't going hungry. So let's get on to the very last thing that I carry. Hopefully this is, uh, you know, motivating you to put one of these together or giving you some ideas at least. So let's get on to those last few items. I'm sure you've noticed by now that the majority of this stuff is kept in plastic bags. That's in an effort to keep them dry. Here in Florida, it's always wet, damp, you know, and it helps when I keep these things and the food and other stuff dry, especially the items I'm about to show you. You do not want them to get wet. So we'll start off with, right here I have a, a pair of underpants, uh, an undershirt, and an extra pair of socks. Keep those with me. Uh, in this bag, I have an extra shirt and in one gallon bag, I have an extra pair of pants. And in this bag, also a one gallon bag, I keep a light jacket with long sleeves. Uh, it's waterproof and that'll keep me dry and warm and it's not heavy at all. Um, I should have got you an actual weight on all of this stuff combined in that bag but I dropped the ball there folks but it's not heavy at all anybody can hike with this pack on their back with all of these items in it and this combined with the tools and stuff you saw in my uh, get home bag and the items I keep in my car I'll have plenty of tools a uh, way to cook I'll have plenty of food, I'll have a change of clothes, I'll have a way to build a shelter. It's all, it'll all be right there, ready to go. Just grab that grab and go bucket, grab this backpack, and get the hell out of Dodge. So, should be ready to go. 
hopefully this will give you some ideas. Um, this, like I said, this is for me. Yours isn't going to be the same. You're going to put things in there that you want, things that you need. Uh, there are other items you need to consider that I cannot recommend here without this video getting restricted, but you need a way to protect yourself. I uh, mentioned in the early part of the video what I'm going to do. So I'm not worried about looking tacked up here and I'm not worried about, you know, where I'm going. I'm going to have the equipment I need to protect myself. So you want to consider that as well. But I think that should do it today. If you like this video, if it helped you out any, hit that thumbs up right down there. I'd appreciate it right there. Yeah, right there. I'd really appreciate it. YouTube likes those thumbs up and they like comments. If you got recommendations for me and for other folks, put them in the comments down there. Help us all out. That would be great. Share this with your friends if it helped you out. And hit that subscribe button right there. Really be grateful. Help me out. I'd appreciate it. So with that, I'm going to say stay strong, stay patriotic, pray for the United States of America, and do something epic for somebody else this week. Orlando Prepper is out.